in this video I'd like to uh, show you how I use my uh, Seconic Flashmate L308S uh, light meter uh, together with my Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2 body with uh, a Mamiya uh, flash on the camera and with an external flash which is in my case a Nikon Speedlight SB700 as an external flash. So here <coughs> the environment is a multi-flash system where the triggering flash is mounted on the RZ767 and then the external flash is uh, triggered by the main flash on the camera. On my camera I use a uh, RB lens. This is a fisheye Mamiya lens, the 37mm f4.5 and the trick with an RB lens that uh, it has both an aperture ring as you can see here as well as a shutter speed uh, dial on the lens itself. Because this is a RZ67 this is an electronic body an electronic camera. Uh, on the camera uh, you should set its uh, shutter speed dial to RBL meaning that RB lens and then uh, you can use this lens on this um, camera body. So the other trick here is I'm using a Polaroid back uh, with a Fujifilm FP100C. So on the Flashmate first I change to the flash uh, meter mode. I set the uh, the shutter speed to 125, exactly the same shutter speed which I set on the camera, on the lens, in this case 125. And then I just simply press this uh, measure button here and the flash mate starts blinking, waiting for a flash to fire. So you can see here that the flash mate shows zero. Now I press the uh, test button and as you can see now the flash mate shows uh, 22. This is the um, aperture to set uh, on the lens for this measurement. Let's put now the uh, flash mate back somewhere here and repeat the measurement from here okay <coughs> so this time the flashmate measured uh, the, an aperture of four external flash which is an icon speed light SB700. I switched it to manual mode and in, very importantly I change it to remote. Okay so this is the uh, setup uh, I have to uh, define. This is the SU4 mode and the Mm, power is full power, flash is blinking waiting for the uh, master flash to fire. So let me show how it works. I just place it here like this one, like that and then place the flash mate on the back measuring and I just 
press the test button here with the Mamiya it's fired and then you can hear the sound from the remote flash what uh, you can see that uh, it requires that this is so powerful uh, flash that it requires the uh, lens to be set to uh, 45 aperture of 45 which definitely we doesn't have so what we can uh, do here is uh, for example I just the either decrease the power of the flash or just uh, mm, fire it uh, tilt it upwards let me just put it back to see how it measures the flash mate is still blinking blinking just press again let me check okay now uh, the value is uh, uh, 5.6 therefore this is a value which is completely possible to set on the lens the next the next step is to show how to use uh, the <clears throat> RZ67 uh, with the Polaroid uh, back with the Fujifilm FV100 a peel apart instant film uh, focusing the RZ67 is a bit tricky because it has a bellows focusing system on the right hand side there is a knob as well as on the left hand side too so we have two actually three knobs on the body pro 2 there is one door knob to move the uh, bellows uh, this is a big movement and this one is a fine adjustment and the other one is just again another for left hand operation and there is also a uh, lock so when you are when the le lever is there you cannot change the focus so when the lever is in the back you can change the focus so let me show you how it works I just focusing this lens as you see this is how it works there is also a uh, magnifying glass on a RZ of course everything is uh, left and that uh, this is a chimney finder let me show you when you are when it is completely out of focus this is how it looks when I change and the fine adjustment now it's more or less in focus remember to remove the dark slide uh, before firing I placed a couple of uh, magnetic strips here to as, as a holder for the dark slide on my camera and uh, so this is how it works let me just double che uh, check if the uh, how to set up the um, flash if it's still okay okay so it's blinking again ready to fire just test it okay now it says 8 so I set the aperture to 8 shutter is 125 as seen here so and 
let's just press the shutter button okay I put back the dark slide remove the uh, the film, the sheet film, the instant sheet film like this and okay um, this uh, is I have here a calculation of because it's about uh, 25 centigrades here so one minute and 30 seconds is enough it really doesn't matter if it's longer or not so the way to uh, get this peel apart just I pull this uh, here and then this is what I call peel apart remove this uh, and check out how it works this is uh, the exposure yeah definitely it was uh, too harsh so there is a reflection on from the uh, box but anyhow the measurement was more or less fine I mean the exposure was more or less fine this was my very first experiment so in my opinion this is quite impressive so I have never practiced that before I just did it right from the first time and I make this tutorial or instructional uh, video for that this is my studio where I recorded this instructional experimental video I used my uh, Sony Alpha 5100 with the super wide 10 to 18 millimeters lens which is excellent for this type of uh, tutorial videos and uh, here is the photo and the Seconic Flash Mate thank you very much for the attention